All right, let's get Noah, Nathan, Nathan, Angus, Cooper. Everybody but Cooper go on a floor spot. Everybody else, uh, you can be in the post. Let's grab a ball. Let's hold that there. All right, we're just going to go over the read and react principles. It's important to go over the points on the floor that are needed in our offense. So the first one is the read line. Any line that's outside the three-point line is called the read line. So this line is no longer called the three-point line, it's called the read line for us. The second one is the charge circle. We're going to call this one the decision box. Okay, so we have read line, decision box. The rest of the spots are called floor spots. So we have a dead corner or deep corner. We generally call it the deep corner. And up here we have what's called the seams where these two boys are standing. The post player always stands opposite the ball unless they are called across to create a triangle. It's important to realize that this spacing on the floor creates driving lanes and passing lanes. We have a rule, if we pass, we cut. Now, if we're making a pass to the corner spot or the dead corner, as soon as the player looks at the dead corner spot, they'll blast up to the 45. Blast up, catch, stop there. So, first thing the receiver's gonna do is square up to the basket and look at the cutter who's gonna show his target hand, good job, to the decision box, and he's gonna look, we'll fill around, replace, replace. Now, it's up to Nathan, he can decide if he's gonna pass, dribble, or shoot, but let's just for the drill pass, he will cut. The only spot he can go back to is the one in the corner. Okay, so let's have a few rotations of those. Pass, cut, empty out, Cooper. Good, cut, slow down, good. Slow down, good, pass, cut, good job Coop. Remember if we look at the corner, you're gonna blast up. If you look at the corner, you're gonna blast up. Good, cut. And stop there. Finish your cut and stop there. There you go. Right, so that's our basic pass, cut, replace. We will put in dribble at now. So if Noah is dribbled at by Angus, Noah will cut. So you dribble over to a floor spot. Good. Pass and cut. Dribble at. Good. Pass and cut. Stop there, pass around. Stay there, Coop. All right, now if we do want to look for a post feed, Cooper will be outside the lane and he will use a technique called long arm, short arm. So he's gonna have, there you go, one long arm, one short arm. If we pass it to the post, our same rules apply. If you pass, you cut, we'll circle around, hungry receiver, ready to catch and shoot, All right? Hold the ball there. Let's just say Noah passed it. Noah will take the biggest space. So the biggest space is through the elbow. That's how he will cut, and then we will fill around. If Cooper doesn't like it, he can pass it out, and then we're just back into read and react that way. Okay, he will move opposite the ball. If somebody is overplayed, so if we're trying to pass it to Angus, we're overplayed, over the read line, automatically cut, fill up, you'll empty out. Finish your cut, decision box, empty out. Pretty good, pass cut, dribble at, post feed, speed cut, kick it out, good, empty out, pass cut, dribble at, good, finish your cut, stop there, finish your cut, finish your cut, not too bad, not too bad. The next scenario that we want to put in is if we have a driver. And these are the five Ds that we talked about. And they are driver, dragger, dunker, dead corner, and diagonal. So the way we're going to drill this is you're going to call out your position. So if Angus is the driver, he's going to yell out. Driver, driver. Right, Noah's the dragger, dragger dunker, dunker, diagonal, dead corner. Right, so let's just walk through each position. As Angus is driving, the dunker, if he's strong side, he's gonna stand here with his hands up. 
If Angus drives with his left hand, he's going to circle around to the front of the rim. Okay? Dragger, they're not staying in the corner, they're lifting, so his defender has a decision to make to either help or he'll stay with Noah, which will give Angus a driving lane. So here's a dragger, catch and shoot. Diagonal over here is going to move off the seam, so he'll start on a seam. As the drive starts, he'll move to diagonal. So Angus has a passing lane and the dunker will be at the front of the rim. Dead corner here is a catch and shoot guy or a catch and pass guy. So if there is a rotation and we make that pass, this person's defender will generally have to come down and that's that catch and shoot there. Okay, let's start with the ball in the corner. So it's the same thing, driver, just nice and slow. Driver, dragger, dead corner, front of the rim, dunker, dead corner. Okay, kick it out, kick it out, finish your cut, good. Empty out, pass, cut, drive. Whoa, Nate, your diagonal. So, this is a good teaching point. How do we know who's the dragger and who's diagonal? The easiest way to tell is who has two sides. Okay, so if Noah's driving, there's only one other player over there. They're the dragger. There's two players opposite the driver. He's the diagonal. Okay, let's rebuild that. Drive. Pretty good, kick it, finish your cut. Dribble up to a seam, Angus. Pass cut. Pass cut. Drive. Pretty good. Pass cut. Pass cut. Make sure you blast up in the corner if they look at you. Good. Stop there. Finish your cut. Drive. Pretty good. Finish it. Not bad. All right, any questions on that, coaches? Any questions, coaches, on that? What is the dead corner? Dead corner, because he doesn't do anything. And it starts with D. So they, they wanted to come up with five Ds, okay? So driver, dragger, dunker, dead corner, diagonal, okay? This is a nice, simple offense, gives us a chance to penetrate. We get play movement, we get ball movement, and everybody gets a chance to score. Let's send it to five out now real quick. Coop, you're out. If we do want to play five out, we just adjust the floor spot so we're not playing on a seam anymore. And this, the rules are the same. Let's have a look. Let's go dribble that. Pass, cut, and post, Nate Horan. Post Horan. All right, stop there. So we can pass, cut, and post like Nate has done. So we just automatically go into our 41 series. Nate will come over here. Let's kick it in, cut. Let's say he doesn't like it, kick it out. He can finish his cut and he will empty out as well. So he'll end up in the dead corner. Cooper will circle around and we're back into five out. Okay, so let's get through that, keep going. Do that, good. Post Angus, good. Kick it out, back to five out, good. All right, score off a pass and cut now. Pretty good. So. Terminology, read line, floor spots, seams, decision box, blast cut, the only other thing, uh, dribble at, overplay back cut, post feed speed cut. The only other thing we want to talk about is hungry receiver. Blast cut. Blast cut. So if we go back to 41, boys, let's go to 41. So in order to keep this spacing here, we need to make sure that Nathan is in a deep or dead corner, right? 
However, we all know that that pass there, if anyone's playing any kind of defense, is going to be taken away. So Nathan won't blast cut until Noah looks at him and that signals that he wants to throw him the pass, then he'll blast up to a perimeter. If Noah doesn't look at him, we want Nathan to keep his spacing here so Noah has a chance to penetrate. You know, and then it's a decision. If I go this way, it's a pass for a catch and shoot, yeah? Any questions on any of that other stuff? Coaches, no?